I hope you're doing fantastic. Today's a little bit different. It's been kind of one of those days where I knew I needed to make a video and I wanted to make a video, but I didn't know what I was going to make a video on. And I ended up just making like a rambling skincare routine vlog type thing and I wasn't sure if you guys would like that or if that's something that I you know wanted to put on my channel so if that's something you want to see by all means leave me a comment below but if that's not something you want to see good because it's not what I'm uploading and right now at least and um yeah I have something different and better planned for you today I thought I would sit and talk about some of my favorite books that I've read recently I love to read and I read all the time. I can finish books like that. I finished the entire Harry Potter series in like a week and a half. Granted, it was over a vacation, so it wasn't like, um, you know, I had more important things and it wasn't like a vacation where I was going somewhere. I didn't just waste my time in another place by reading. That's not what happened. I had like a good chunk of time off, but I wasn't going anywhere. So I stayed home and I read Harry Potter. You know, your girl got addicted. Your girl was like Ravenclaw all the way. And I finished the entire series and then I didn't know what to do with my life. Went hardcore Harry Potter fan. Still in that phase. I don't think I'll ever get over it. So anyway, today I thought that I would sit and talk about some of my favorite books that I've read recently and what I'm currently reading or getting ready to read because I'm only like six pages into this new book but anyway so if you like to read and you're looking for some more book recommendations please keep watching to the end of this video because I'm sure that some of these books will pique your interest and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please click the subscription button below and then you can see my face in your subscription box all the time and I just got done making my YouTube upload schedule and planning out the videos that I'm gonna do kind of for the month there are a couple more videos that I want to fit in other places but I have my baseline schedule done and I'm super excited for that because your girl has needed to get on a schedule for a really long time so the first book that I want to talk about is my favorite favorite book of all time. My mom recommended it to me and it was a book that I thought, you know, I might as well read because she loves to read and she has a good opinion on books. So if she suggests it, then it's probably a good book. But I never expected it to kind of like zero in on me a little bit. I never expected it to be like my all time favorite. But every time anybody asks, I always say this book and that is She's Come Undone by Wally Lamb. This book is fantastic. I have read it like nine or ten times and my pages are like starting to come out of the binding. Like I don't even know if you can see that but like they're just, they've felt the love over the past couple of years. I first read this book I think when I was a freshman in high school and I reread it at least like two or three times a year. And I just got done rereading it and uh, I love it even more now than I did when I first read it. It follows the story of Dolores Price as she's kind of a young girl going through her teenage years and going into young adulthood, navigating her life through college age and um, I absolutely fell in love with the way Wally Lamb wrote her character. He perfectly portrayed what it's like to be kind of a misfit or what it's like to be a not typical girl and um, I just really identified with her strongly. She struggles with uh, her weight and struggles with coming into her womanhood because of that. Um, she also just has some atrocious difficulties that she has to get over and a huge roadblocks that she has to try to get through. You know, she just has this story that captivated. So it's quite a read. It's not just like that you'll speed through, I guess, but um, it's definitely well worth the read. There's 465 pages in this book and they're great from 1 to 465. I can't speak highly enough for this book. I will say that I will put a little bit of a trigger warning because it does talk with talk about some very serious topics and it does depict some very um, provoking scenes and I don't want anybody who's ever gone through anything like that to you know be caught off guard if they read this book but it definitely helped me through some of the emotions that are associated with some of these things. It talks about um, you know abuse and stuff like that throughout the book so I would definitely just use caution but it's 
well worth the read and I suggest this to anybody. So she's Come Undone by Wally Lamb. Um, most bookstores have it. If you're in the Los Angeles area, the last bookstore carries it all the time. It's in Barnes & Noble. You can get it on Amazon and I recommend. The next book I'm going to recommend is a little bit different for me just because it's sad. It's by Jacqueline Mitchard and it's called Cage of Stars. It follows Veronica Swan as she goes through a horrible tragedy in her family and kind of how she um, how it impacts her and how she internalizes that and then how she grows up after in the aftermath. Veronica Swan is a character that I think a lot of people can relate to and just Jacqueline Mitchard captured her voice perfectly I feel for the type of character that she is and the tragedy that her family goes through. I think that it was perfectly captured in this book. Um, it is kind of a quicker read. The print is smaller and the pages aren't as long um, and the book isn't as long as uh, She's Come Undone. The book is only 284 pages but they are totally worth it. This book it just it's one of those stories that after you read it you're happy that you've done so but it's like it leaves like a hole in your chest and you're like what just happened I don't know how to process this you'll deal with grief and sorrow and happiness and moving on despite tragedy and it just I would recommend this to anybody who likes to read those type of books because it's well worth it. And then, not surprisingly for my last suggestion, I'm recommending an entire series which would be the Harry Potter series. When I was younger, I it's not that I wasn't allowed to read Harry Potter, there was a brief time where I wasn't allowed to read Harry Potter, which is a complete different story. But um, I just never, I wasn't, I don't know how to put this, it wasn't that I was like afraid of like witchcraft or anything like that. It just wasn't something that like gripped my attention growing up and sorry about that. I put off reading it for a really long time and then what made me want to start reading the books was I kept seeing the merchandise everywhere and I was like yeah like I like the merchandise and I took the Pottermore quiz and found out that I was a Ravenclaw before I read the book. I was on Bumble and this kid was like let's have a Harry Potter ma marathon in his bio just generic and I was like wow like Harry Potter so I sent him a message and I was like hey I've never read Harry Potter like what do you suggest is it good should I do it and he like gave an outline that was like longer than some essays I've turned in about how good Harry Potter was and then we started talking about it and I went out that night and I bought the first book and I was like okay I'm gonna read it laid down in bed and I stayed up all night reading Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and I absolutely fell in love with it. The next day I went back to Barnes and Noble and I bought the entire series because I was like I cannot put this book down and I have to have the other one and so I went through the entire series in like a week and a half and I know that they're for a younger audience but sometimes it's good to kind of like read a book that's for a younger audience and you can be a fan of Harry Potter at any age. Don't believe the lies. You never are too old to go to Hogwarts and you know what? Just Hogwarts is my home. <laughs> Since then I've become such a fan of Harry Potter. I love JK Rowling's writing style and the way she just makes the characters pop off the page for you and you know it's impractical things that happen. For some reason it just seemed like you know Harry Potter and his group they just get you a little bit. Um, I don't really think I have to talk this book up because it speaks for itself and if you've read the first Harry Potter you'll probably want to read the second and the third. You'll be at Deathly Hollows, and you'll be like what's happening and you'll be like what happened I thought there were more books but you've already read all the books and then you'll be sad and you'll carry the story with you forever and ever and JK Rowling just knew what she was doing when she wrote Harry Potter so hmm, recommend. So the next book is a book that I actually haven't read. It's one that I am starting I'm only on page 26 of this book and so it's not really a recommendation this is just my current reads and that is The Rosie Project. This was suggested to me by my good friend Mia and she raved about this book so I'm going to read it and then when I get done with it I will tell you whether it was a yay or a nay and so far I'm liking it. I 
think that the characters are really um, thought-provoking so far. It's about Don Tillman, who is a professor, and I don't, like I said, I'm only like on 26, so I don't know a lot of the story, so bear with me. It got good reviews on Amazon and on Goodreads and everything, so I'm really excited to read this book, and hopefully I will be finished with it within the week, probably. And um, yeah, I will keep you guys posted about how I liked The Rosie Project. So that is all for this little short video. It's just about the books that I like to read and I hope you didn't mind um, sitting and watching me ramble about, you know, books because I like hearing about other people's books. I like hearing about their favorites and books that they didn't like. And I like seeing people's like bookshelves and book reviews and everything. So I wanted to film kind of one of those for my channel. Hope you didn't mind. Uh, leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite book is and if it's a book that I've already read I will possibly review it in a later video and if it's a book that I haven't read I will add it to my Goodreads list and then order it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Have a fantastic day and I love you. Bye!